now we are coming to the our second edition of framework one that related to solar system we have discussed about the nothing god universe from universe we came down to galaxy stars and after then we are coming to the solar system next logical sequence solar system first we'll come to next idea uh, idea unit that is the sun and once we are coming we are just coming toward the earth because finally we have to study about the earth most of the vocabulary will come related to earth or whatever living on the earth and uh, then solar system we are coming to the earth and earth is revolving by nine planets out of that one earth is there and next revolving moon is revolving to the earth then we'll go to the moon detail understanding about the earth will come to the next addition next addition will understand about the earth once we are coming to the earth then again we will go in three different way above the earth earth surface below the earth very clear cut logical sequence to understand you can say complete knowledge or complete general studies also complete vocabulary also then we will start with the solar system we understood now we will start with the main planet or you can say a star of the solar system that is the sun sun has come from shunya or shunna that is from germanic language and uh, you can say parallel words of the star you can say day star fireball luminary solar sunny sun like all you know but only thing you says you are not doing sunil gavaskar is a luminary personality in the cricket means it is like a sun their stretcher is like a sun they are having the level of their uh, achievement it is a luminary after then uh, solar i am telling these all are figurative use not literal use mainly usage by you always careful every word every word most of the word mainly figurative meaning it is a you can say infinite way we can think and once you will read the fiction novel then you will think how people are so imagined how they can imagine by a simple simple word in so much figurative way that is uh, like uh, that is a real you can say literature or you can say if you want to go further level then day star fireball luminary and uh, sun as a center due to it is called heliocentric study related to sun heliograph helioscope that is instrument we are using heliostat heliology path of the sun ecliptic day equal to night then we will talk we will tell it is equinox sun crosses plane of equator when sun will cross plane of equator i am in reaching your information and your multiple subject knowledge geography history philosophy after then linguistics and then you can say social science and further politics constitution everything is you can say holistic way all this will come all information is updated equinox means sun crosses the plane of equator when uh, day will be equal to night then we can say it is equinox sun is farthest then we can say it is a solstice that is is 21st march it is a vernal so equinox beginning of the spring again similarly way 21st september 21st june summer solstice then 22nd december almost winter solstice apparent darkening you can say due to moon or if it is a hiding the path of the sun then you can say it is a eclipse it will be two type solar eclipse lunar eclipse one time sun will come between earth and moon then it is a lunar eclipse if a moon is coming between sun and earth then it is a solar eclipse sun spot whatever once you will see the sun then many of the spot you will find because it is a just ball of the helium which keep on burning it is keep on burning then uh, that is called uh penumbra and if it is further darker means you can say very dark spot then it is called umbra sudden signing it is a sun burst like you will feel many of the times it is a rainy season clouds are moving from here and there you are very afraid i don't know when rain will come or i should go out or not and suddenly what will happen all cloud will come will be out and sudden very intense sunlight will come that is